hello guys welcome in next episode uh, thank you very much for all the advices that i received for my last video about the greenhouse uh, you know i spent a lot of time last few days thinking about it and um, and what i thought is you know it eventually it comes up to two things either i'm gonna spend over 200 pounds and make it f to last for uh, many years Hello guys, welcome in next episode. As you can see we are in shed because it's windy and it starts raining as well. <clears throat> I hope you're all well and, uh, and let me give you an update about the uh, greenhouse. So thank you very much for all the advices guys. Uh, it, it's really amazing how much it helps actually because there is a lot of things that I didn't thought about even though I made some research. Uh, so as far as I can see I have two options either go a uh, bit more expensive which will be over 200 pounds and either build the uh, uh, cover from polycarbonate and materials like that and also as it was advised in one comment probably I should even paint it inside to preserve the wood a bit more because it's so old and um, and this way I might use the, the greenhouse for another three four years hopefully but the truth is that the frame is so old that uh, I don't know it's not gonna if it will stay there even with the if we're gonna have that bigger wind much a much stronger wind it might just collapse because there is no guarantee <clears throat> um, also it's gonna make it much more difficult to build the whole polytunnel i might have some leakage here and there so what i thought is that if i should go with this with this um, you know ex more expensive option probably it's better to buy to build my own poly and i found really good website with clear instructions how to do it you know, it, uh, I would have to buy some reinforced uh, steel bars, maybe some water pipe, which will be five centimeters in diameter, and maybe some wood for the stud work. But basically, you know, that's what it, what it comes to. So either I'm going to spend more and this is going to last for long, or I'm just going to go very cheap and do not expect it to last for longer than, I don't know, around two years. Uh, and I think because I'm new, because I just started, I'm just going to try to keep things simple as, as cheap as possible. Uh, at the same time, polyton is very very important because I will try to start uh, most of the plants in polyton rather than so directly. So I need to make sure that this ha it has a good ventilation and and it and it's just there when I need it. Um, so I decided to just buy the simple polytunnel, uh, one of the, uh, the the green one, and and make it in a way that it stay uh, that it lasts for as long as possible. And um, and you know I. There is a, the thing is that I have another greenhouse base, so what I thought is that, you know, I can still do this interesting project that I was talking about in the previous video. Uh, it's just like I can build a smaller, smaller greenhouse and, uh, you know, just I will have a lot of time to gather all the materials, like uh, maybe some polycarbonate from the free sources and, uh, and uh, any studs or any wood that I need. So I can still go on with this project, it's just on a smaller scale and when I'm going to have enough materials to make it as cheap as possible as well. So yeah, I think that's going to be a bad idea. Anyway, let's get to work. Okay, so you see this is the bit more tricky part this is this is the whole glass pane that was left um, so i'm trying to make sure that i'm not going to break it because there's going to be a lot of pieces that's going to be left in the ground <clears throat> what i'm going what i did i i cut this uh, 
bottom of the uh, of this plank and I'll try to remove it and then uh, place it somewhere where it's not gonna do any harm. <clears throat> By the way, look what I found guys. It's, uh, so many slugs, it's my, such a small pot. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing here. I guess someone has to throw them in here. I mean, I can't believe that all of them went in and just die off. Well, anyway, it's convenient. <laughs> I just can wish for more slugs like this. Alright guys, uh, it started raining quite bad, so I just switched to my phone. Um, so as you can see, I'm just trying to cut sides here and near this main uh, start on the, at the top and taking one after another and I think that once I remove the top then I'm just gonna uh, take care of the uh, of the sides and I really want to keep the uh, as you can see the board uh, those wooden walls that I have here I really would like to keep these so I can then maybe use them to build the benches on which the seat tray is gonna be. The same with uh, with this uh, with this potting table as well. Okay. Anyway, it goes faster than I thought. Although I think the, the base would be the much harder to get rid of. Okay, removing stuff from this old cupboard and uh, and I already found a stapling gun <laughs> although I don't know if I can do anything with it to be honest maybe if I will submerge it with uh, in the coke and the vinegar maybe it could work but I don't know anyway I just found a lot of gloves and yeah, not much in here some utility knife, fertilizers. Yeah, most of the stuff, you know, just gonna get rid of. But I might keep this stapling gun, just see if I can do anything with it. And I found something else. Let's have a look at it. Uh, I think there's a lot of seeds inside. Oh, the smell is not good. Okay, it's all wet. What do we have here? I don't know what that is, but it's some some kind of wire and uh, a lot of. Oh, we have a lot of labels as well. This might be useful. And uh, yeah. And everything is really, really wet. So I guess he's been here for quite a long time. Okay, so that's how much I managed to do today. Uh, I think I will be able to use it for benches. It's not in very good shape, but I think it should hold. Um, yeah, it's a bit sorry to remove it, but you know, it just has to be done. So I'm gonna leave it for the next time. I uh, cleaned up some space in here as well. 
<clears throat> and uh, I was hoping I can use some of the some of the wood, uh, but most of it will just end up being bad. I I don't think I can reuse it. Yeah, it's just too old. Um, anyway, a bit messy right now, but I still have some corridors here and there. If I want to put the new polyton on there, I'm gonna give you an update on my vermicomposter because I didn't do it in a while. So if you're middle, if you're in the middle of the supper or something, you know, and you have a weak stomach, just skip this part. <laughs> so the walls are doing quite nice. See, they they just multiplying. I mean, I can see more and more of them coming. And all I'm doing really is just adding some of the vegetable peels, um, and occasionally, every month or so, I'm adding also the uh, um, fine finely grind uh, eggshells for the calcium and. Uh, and the coffee grounds and i think as long as i'm keeping this ratio properly you know there should be enough warm inside generated by the uh, by the heat of decomposing kitchen scraps and so forth and uh, and i hope they're gonna be fine here throughout the winter you see the also i'm making sure there is always some newspapers on top to keep it insulated and and we will see we will see but looks fine looks, all looks good producing so it is producing a nice and crumbly soil for me already So, I think I'm gonna, I'm going to plant comfrey in here, which which will be kind of like at the border of my plot. So it might go after the uh, the compost bin because the compost bin will go from here in the in the summer, and this will be kind of like a sitting area with the grass, probably some just alone. So I guess if I will do, uh, you know, just the border of comfrey in here. This shouldn't be a problematic, even if it starts spreading, you know, it's still going to be kind of like contained on this side. I, I split the uh, the coffee that I dug out from this area and as you, as you can see it's quite dried out uh, because I kept it too long. Um, so, so I hope it still will work, but I still have the coffee that I brought from the, uh, from the uh, community garden that I was working in. So you see uh, how nicely they're doing. Um, and this was just a piece of root that I put into the pot and you know it's just doing its job, it's growing and here I have the bigger one so I could probably even split it in two uh, but anyway I just need, I just have space for, well I have space for two more actually so I'm just gonna put them here I know that people are concerned with comfrey, you know, if it's gonna spread through the uh, through the seeds or maybe through the roots, but uh, you know, I think it's it's not such a big problem. I mean, if it's gonna spread, then you know, I'm gonna mow the area anyway around the comfrey, uh, and if it's gonna spread, I can always put the hot compost pile on the top of it, like here, and hopefully it will remove it. But anyway, I think the benefits from comfrey are much bigger than uh, the problem of spreading. Okay. So that's it for today, um, next week I need to finish off the greenhouse and start thinking about the buying new one. Uh, yeah, anyway, a bit of a pity to to get rid of it, you know, but I think it was a good decision, I think it was a really good one. So thanks again for all your help and advice guys, really appreciate it. And i see you next week then. Take care everyone, bye.